Hello everybody, let us look at technical view on the equity market. Nifty opened on positive note today, however couldn't sustain in the positive territory. In fact, it tumbled sharply after the RBI announcement and ultimately posted a negative daily close for the day. It has reached its crucial uh, swing low as well as 61.8% retracement of the previous rally. The level was around 5770. It has posted a close below that level. So it, uh, this now indicates that uh, Nifty is heading towards 78.6% retracement of the previous rally and the level comes to around 5680. So we now revise our short term target uh, to 5680 and on the other hand uh, crucial daily moving averages which are near 5890-5920 will act as strong resistances and thus uh, we trail our reversal to 5920 that is about 20 DMA. The daily momentum indicator is also suggesting further downside potential in the benchmark index. Moving on to hourly chart, we can see that uh, since uh, the wedge uh, formation, uh, Nifty has uh, started uh, falling down and the fall is unfolding in a channelized manner. It has also broken a short term rising trend line and on the occasions of minor degree bounces, Nifty has been finding resistance near its crucial hourly moving averages. Even this time it is expected to face resistance near upper channel line which is close to 5800 and uh, 20 hourly simple moving average which is close to 5850. So those will be the uh, crucial resistances from immediate perspective whereas uh, reversal for short term would be around 5920. Now we will have a look at bank nifty. Bank nifty has also been falling down uh, since last several weeks. It formed a bearish flag pattern in between and broke out on the downside and since then it has now entered, uh, it is now in the third leg on the downside and is heading towards overall equality target which is close to uh, 9800 mark. Delhi momentum indicator is in line with the price fall and suggests further downside potential. In today's session, uh, Bank Nifty has formed a bearish outside bar. So today's high will now become a crucial resistance from short term perspective. Crucial supports to watch out for are 10,140 and 9,800 and crucial resistances are 10,574 and 10,850. Now we will have a look at couple of stocks that are showing a good setup to initiate fresh short position from short term perspective and the first one is Tata Motors. Tata Motors has recently formed a bearish wedge pattern and has broken out on the downside in today's session. In terms of wave structure it has started third leg on the downside in today's session and has fallen below its crucial daily moving averages. The daily momentum indicator has also given a fresh sell signal recently. So this is a good level to initiate fresh short position with stop loss above today's high and target on the downside will be uh, substantially below. Uh, it will be uh, below the recent low as well. Crucial supports to watch out for are 277 and 263 and crucial resistances are 291 and 297. The next one is Siemens. As can be seen from this daily chart, after first leg on the downside, Siemens form a three wave pullback. Uh, as per Elliott wave uh, theory, a three wave move is considered as a corrective move and accordingly the stock has uh, started next leg on the downside. It consolidated near lower, uh, lower channel line uh, for a couple of days and from there it has now resumed with the larger downtrend. The Delhi lower Bollinger band has started expanding and is allowing the stock to uh, fall down further. Delhi momentum indicator is in favor of bears. So this is also a good stock to initiate fresh short position. Crucial supports are 485 and 450 and crusial resistances are 511 and 530. Thank you.